So uh, we left there and to the uh, TLP, uh, then with the Hauser and all that, and then uh, deep mooring. Mm. You know, and, uh, and, uh, I, I mean, you, you know it yourself. Yeah, right? yeah. And, then, and then that's where uh, uh, one one of the BCO left Chong. Mm, Chong. And then you came in. I came in. Yes. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah, it. And you then, become colleague. Yeah, now, uh, uh, from 2002 uh, until now. now yeah. So what is it? 2018 years. 18 eh? years we know each other. Yeah, yeah. And then. Uh, so how long we be working Westline at that time? Ah, uh, from from start, you know, 2000, 2001 until 2008. Eight. 2001 yeah. to 2008. So yeah. okay. Then after that you left uh, Westline. And then, and then not not long after that. Uh, I, I see you again. <laughs> yeah, I came and see you again. Yeah. I came to see you. Yeah, yeah, this is, you know, you help me. I help yeah, you. Good, and, uh, good, good, good life in yeah, Batam. Yeah, yeah. uh, it was it was great great experience also uh, yeah. from nothing to build the rig yeah. and then you and me and then Richard uh, all Malaysian crew yeah. we built the rig we took the rig out go for work. We work and it was very successful in yeah. uh, it was the most difficult you know yeah. it was the most difficult so, so when when you join I remember yeah. when yeah. we joined a yeah. new company yeah. called uh, UMW yeah. standard drilling yeah. right so everybody know UMW right? yeah so that time we are the uh, assistant batch master yeah. okay so yeah. we have four batch uh, assistant batch master yeah. and Danny is one of them who selected to be a batch master you know? yeah. so so yeah. we so from I 2008 more yeah. you start working on Jacob again yeah on, yeah, and then when that's when we and you know you and me were. Yeah. So you have been two thousand and ten now. Yeah. Bash master. Right? Bash master. Yeah. So, so you see, not easy, yeah, to become yeah. a bash master yeah. in uh, from, yeah. you know, from bottom all the way more up. Yeah. You know? Then you yeah. in between you encounter a lot of problems here yeah. and there on the break, you know, yeah. and the people as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Especially, I think. Well, to me, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I think, uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, this is how I perceive this thing. Uh. Yeah. I think the, the job itself is not that difficult, but it is the people, mm -hmm. either your superior, Correct. or your team, team, are the one that is, is, is uh, it, it, they are the one that... Uh, they can contribute, uh, contribute to the operation yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Either it can be good, yeah. either a simple job can be difficult. Mm -hmm. If you get a good OIM, you remember, uh, what was his name? Uh, Peter. Is it Peter Ham? Uh, Peter Hamster. Peter Hamster. Hamster. Uh, yeah. Ron. Uh, Ron. Yeah. These are the two best OIM as well. Uh. Yeah. They leave the they job are, yeah. to us. I said, uh, when it comes to drilling, he said, yeah, I can, uh, I can uh, help. But, but when it comes to your specialty, mm. I am just there to observe. And uh, meaning to say he, he give a lot trust, of trust, trust to yes. the people. Yeah. And then what is wrong at the end of the day? How we fix it? Mm. And what was the, the what was the problem? Mm. He only reports to the rig manager. Yeah, yeah. And that is how you know he was. He's not at our back all the time. Yeah. You remember yeah, that? that huh? It was really good. You know? So don't don't get us yeah. wrong. You know yeah. we're not saying these two are the best OM yeah. in the world. He's yeah. just saying that yeah. that this is other OM that have. Uh, they have to trust, trust those people and yeah. we can work really as a team yeah, and yeah. which is the operation went very well yeah yeah, yeah. and then you remember the fire mm, the fire yeah. on the rig yeah. the fire which we treated like you know real, real, yeah. real, 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 real fire but it was like yeah, a training snap, snap. snap. Oh, my fire. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it was yeah, exciting yeah, 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 yeah. So that was yeah. really good actually yeah. the operator side is really impressed with what we have done yeah. uh, with so fast we can actually put off the fire you know? yeah. With no incident, no incident, no, nothing, no further, yeah, yeah, no no further, further damage. damage. No yeah. further damage. It was yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So training is important. Right? Yeah. Training is important. Yeah. Yeah. And I met uh, what was the name of that French guy again? I met him when I was on the PP one hundred one with Hess in. Oh, uh, okay, Philip. Philip, mm, Philip. Philip. Uh, mm. yeah. yeah, he was good. You know, he was mm. so glad to see me when I went to join. PP101 yeah, and then I worked there. So meaning after UW you join uh, I, uh, Perisai? I left uh, UMW purely for you know just to take a long break to be with my son. son okay. uh, he graduated. After he graduated I knew that 
once he's working, you know, yeah, in the real world, world, I don't have time, time for, to, the, for them anymore. For, for them yes, anymore. True, very true. So I, I miss a lot too. Yeah, mm. yeah I took uh, seven months off. Mm. So two weeks after I left UMW, uh, Bram, uh, CEO of uh, okay. our all our former boss, boss yeah. <laughs> called me up. Hey, Denny. I heard you left UMW. What's the reason? So I told him. Uh, what, whatever you said just now. Yeah, whatever I said just now. And then he said, uh, "Are you willing to come back to work?" And I said, "Yes." But next year, wow, oh, June. <laughs> uh, we are building uh, PP one hundred one, PP one hundred two, PP one hundred three mm. uh, at uh, PPL uh, CPR in Singapore. And he said, "You know, send me your resume." Yeah. You know, uh, send me your CV. So I, I I was in Bali at the time, mm. so uh, I I call uh, and then after that, I when I came back, I submit my CV. Okay, Danny. Um, so you have been in the industry, I think like forty years. I think, yeah. Almost forty yeah, years. Uh, so what's your advice for those uh, young people, especially yeah. like painter, yeah. Russ about probably a catering crew as yeah. well, you know? Yeah. So yeah. how how they can actually um, moving up and be a bush master yeah. just like you do you know mm -hmm. so do. yeah uh, my advice to uh, youngsters especially when when they have uh, some you know a lot of them are quite educated mm -hmm. they are quite there yeah. so i think uh, if you have the potential work hard uh, don't be too calculative oh 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 book ini bukan saya punya kerja yeah, correct you know, mm -hmm. you know i believe hard work always pay so kalau you kerja kuat uh, akhir akhir pun and ada dia punya yeah. don't not thinking oh that's my job that's not my job this uh, is my job this no. is your job not my job <laughs> and they, it is about integrity as well yeah you know, pukul berapa you oh cepat cepat lari tidak kerja no mm, because correct. the company is paying you full yeah and then that is your integrity yeah. and that is your honesty correct you are not cheating the company mm. You are cheating yourself. Correct. See. Correct. Okay. So my my advice is work hard. Uh, if there is any opportunity uh, arise right. or come up, take it. Just so that take take it. You know. Uh, mm. the, if you can't, failure is not a shame. Eh? Yeah. A failure, you keep you just keep trying. Yeah. yeah. What 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 do you think about yeah. the gap? Because right now, <clears throat> if I go to a lot of rigs, right? Yeah. I ask one question: Why don't mm. you become Master. So the only question, uh, sorry, the only answer they give me is susah, banyak susah, susah. This is susah means difficult, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So you think this gap is because of uh, the the system in place in industry and uh, education yeah. is not enough, you know? Yeah. What do you think? There, I think uh, there are several factor. I think uh, one is you yourself. The moment you say susah, mm. that is already attitude. Yeah, it's yeah. already a barrier. Yeah, it's, mm. it's already a barrier. Yeah. You you shut it down already. It's a susah. Mm. I mean, everything in this world is susah. Yeah. You know, mm. kalau you tidak buka mulut mana boleh dapat makan. Makan, makan pun susah. Pun susah juga. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah. so uh, you have to try. Mm. Uh, like I said, it's about hard work. It's about the willingness to learn. Yeah. You know, and then probably. Some people call susah, though they are hardworking. Not 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 all of them yang sekap susah bukan yeah. tidak malas. Mm. They are also hardworking, but like you said, education, education, and also the the system in place. place like yeah. you said, I agree with you. Yeah. You know, you set up something where, you know, probably an institution mm -hmm. uh, yeah. to even on maybe uh, you are yeah. good in that online. Training. How to uh, how online training? How to promote yourself yeah, yeah. to become uh, somebody? You know, step by yeah. step. True. Yeah, do you remember when we were on the West Alliance? I always uh, advise a lot of this catering crew, yeah. uh, young catering crew, uh, and now some of them are moving up to thriller. Some of them sure. are already yeah. to correct. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, because yeah, because yeah. they want it as well. So. Yeah, and then one guy mm -hmm. he said he don't want to go up. He said mm -hmm. I want to be a motor man. I want to be yeah, a mechanic. Yeah, Eventually yeah. he become a mechanic. Yeah. So it's all about you know. I said I suggest them to get out mm -hmm. of the. Of the galley, yeah, yeah, yeah. and a catering go out there, and working. a lot become some of them become crane operator, yeah, you know, yeah, that. Them yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the the thing is, 
a lot of them are what I am admire about these guys. They are also thankful lah whenever they meet me. Ah, oh, yeah, boss. Banyak tolong saya dulu. Oh, you know, these yeah. are, so these are people who are appreciative. Yeah. See, from yeah. the past, to be a bus master mm -hmm. is not an easy yeah. job. To, to not so not easy job. It's not easy yeah. to go to a position uh, on on a jackup rig, right? Mm -hmm. As a bus master, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah. why is this happen? Because of mainly education yeah. as well. Yeah. And uh, during that time, there's not many system in place mm. that to guide the people to go higher ranking. You know? So what they have to do is they have to learn from their supervisor yeah. and take a lot of initiative. Yeah. You know, that's it. So that is a, a little bit of gap uh, that I observe uh, during. Uh, right. I mean, I I also been in the industry for mm. almost twenty five years, yes, right? Yeah. So I can see the gap is like from Russ about or catering through to a. A position like bus master or OIM, there is no body. There's a mm. normally there's an organization like right? they will govern uh, the training of the particular personnel. Meaning like even like say our, our Malaysia government, if they have like mm. Jabatan Law, if they have a system saying that okay, we need to have rush about going through this certain amount of training before you can actually promote to be a a deck pusher. Okay. Or if they want to promote, if they want to select to go do a drilling, they have to go through all this uh, uh, training. You see, mm -hmm. so that is nothing like that in the industry yeah, at the yeah, moment. It's yeah. just based on uh, how we observe, yep. how we mm -hmm. see the people as a supervisor. Mm -hmm. Then we then we have to mm -hmm. assure that he can do the job before we can actually promote him. So there is no thing that like a proper training that it's like a, a book, right? Normally, yeah. some of them you know, he, yeah. you have seen that uh, there's a training book, right? Yeah. You know, every page there is a task for you to do every day. Mm. Take, sign off, you're done, mm. then you let the bus master sign off. Mm. So that is yeah. probably this is the system that you need to put in place, yeah. you know, because yeah. it's quite difficult like Danny's time, you know, mm. you sometimes the people don't like you, they don't like your yeah. face also, they don't want to exactly. promote you. So that that is quite yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's all based on uh favoritism. Fa favoritism, yeah, yeah. 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 Favoritism. yeah. Favoritism. And then also when I first started in the industry mm. We have to sit at the back. I expect them to be in front. Yeah. Is important. You know, we were in in the in the sixties, seventies. Yeah. This is normal. Yeah. yeah. Even the matsale. Matsale. Uh, yeah. All this. Uh, but eventually, uh, when and uh, when the industry start to the one, you know, uh, slowly, this kind of thing, when the it's, it's, it's more become, like a superior last time, yeah, like uh, because yeah. we, we all know it's not all the white men are the mm -hmm. same, right? Even yeah. you all Malaysia are not the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, we 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 are Malaysian, but mm -hmm. doing things. But last time used to be like your time, like mm -hmm. Masale, mm -hmm. they are the one who started up this uh, yeah. business, you know. So Correct. eventually, when they look at us, mm -hmm. Asian people, and uh, they they might think they yeah. have lack of confidence actually. Yeah. You no, know, they look at us, don't know whether they can do the job because oh, it's yeah. very new yeah. to them, yeah. is it? So last time it was not treated very well. Right? Yeah. It's, it's like yeah. very quite a quite a nasty job actually, like for offshore. But uh, I can say this now that uh, we are, you know, we we are, we are proud, huh? Yeah. Because uh, there's a lot of good words about Malaysian all over the world now. Yeah. Either in the North Sea, mm. in the Gulf of Mexico, yeah. Whatever there is a lot of all these drilling activities. Mm. And then you know, the Malaysian always there, and like my cousin said, you know, in Qatar there's a lot of uh, Malaysian working in rough gas in the refinery. Mm. Oh, okay. They steal all Petronas employees from uh, Bintulu, uh, MLNG Bintulu. Oh. <laughs> they they offer, they offer higher. Yeah, they yeah. are not stealing. Right? Yeah. They offer higher. No, pay. you see, they don't pay them. They just offer them. You know? they, they let them train. Huh? They let them train. Uh, they let Petronas pay for all the training. Oh, no. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and, then, and then they pin them. Huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. But, yeah. yeah, I think that that is um, okay. Danny have control. So Danny experience is one, right? This is the. He's been long in industry, so you can see what he say. This is all true, you know. So now later on, probably I will interview a few more guys and yeah. see how they become 
you know, past right, master, yeah. you know, myself, I, I haven't really tell anybody how I go through mm -hmm. from, from, from scratch, you know, mm -hmm. from the school all the way to become a remover. Mm -hmm. So this why I haven't talked in a, in a video, but of course you are the first, my first guest. My first guest. Thank you very Thank much, Danny. <laughs> Thank you for his time. Yeah. Let's go yeah. for one beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Okay, see you guys. Bye.